Hey guys, and welcome to something that I'm now going to call Mods at Midnight, because I only ever showcase Mods at Midnight. Here I am with good old Ricky Nickelbottom, his friend Roger, and my, and my, and Jacob and my, and Jacob and my, Jacob and I's friend. I'm not actually sure how to, how to grammatically correctly say that, so I'm sorry. Um, friend from Starbound, Will Stems. He, um, yeah, as you can see here, we've, like, we have, we have a bit of a food situation. We've been sitting here for almost half an hour, and, like, we... Our, like, you know, our meal has not come to us yet. Yeah, see, everybody's just kind of complaining. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of talk to everybody to, to kill time. So, what's up, Roger? Not very talkative, I can see. What about you, Will? Thanks for inviting me along, Steve. I needed to get... I needed some time to clear my head after the whole horse lady thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Stims. Uh, yeah. If you, if you don't know the story of Will Stims yet, um... See, there was this woman who wore a horse head all the time, and and she came through our village once. Will immediately, as soon as he saw her, and that really wide open horse eye, he stared right into it, and he knew that it was love at first sight. But then soon after, um, something very tragic happened. Um, the horse lady, after staying for about a couple of months, suddenly disappeared. And um, Will had been doing cardio on his stairs that whole time, that whole month. And, um, just to impress her with his, um, his rock-hard glutes, if you, if that's what cardio does, I don't know. Pretty sure that's not even really what cardio is, but he, that's what he called it. And she left, and to this day, he still, he, up until, like, a couple days ago, he still, like, ran up and down that staircase, just hoping she'd come back. She never did, though, so I, I thought I'd invite him along and stuff. Anyways, so, Ricky, what do you think? Steve, will you go check with that chef and see what's taking so long? Will do, Captain. This is taking way too long anyway. Okay, we can hear the bard now. Paul, what the hell is going on? Oh, Sir Steam! Uh, hey, hey, hey. What do you need? Right. I didn't actually read what I was supposed to say. God damn it. Uh, right, yeah, about that. Um, they'll... We're just making sure your food is well done. Yeah, that's it. Wait, what is all that behind you? His eyes dart back to the smoking door. <laughs> That's just some steam. The uh, the tuna casserole is rather moist. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that we're not gonna get anything out of that guy. Oh man. I booked like this whole tropical vacation and everything. And we're just gonna have to wait for our food. You know what? I'm just gonna go sit down and enjoy a pina colada. Sunset. Even though it's not sunset yet. It's a good thing that I still maintain the ability to control space-time because of my portable sun, sun, sun altar. That's what I'm going to call it, just to make it sound like it's totally legit. God damn it. I'm not using the proper settings for my sun altar. I'm just going to go ahead and sip a cocktail on the... On the what? Oh. Eh. What the hell? Ah oh, man, where am I? All I remember is I fell asleep in that chair and then all of a sudden, I'm here. What's going on? Uh, this chest doesn't appear to contain anything, but it's a rather nice chest, so I'm gonna take it with me. Come on, give me you. Okay, apparently you won't give me you. That's not very nice. Where did I get this? That's weird. What the? Get, get me out of here. What is going on? Where am I? I appear to be on a canopy, if anything. Oh! Okay. Calm down here, boys. Um... What the hell? Ow. So much for a vacation, huh? This place is pretty cool, though. I mean, it's weird, but it's cool. Hey, what's that over there? This water is really clear. I like it. Don't know what's up with it, but it's really nice. Hmm. So what's going on up in here? Hmm. Nothing, really. Hmm. I mean, this place seems relatively safe. Anyway. 
Oh! Oh, hello! Clearly you're not a native. Oh god, it's, it's another one of those scourge. Oh man. Step back, I have a cocktail. I am not afraid to use it. I'm not afraid to... Get, get away! Get away! Get away! No! Just get out of here! Alright, hey guys, I am back, and after a little bit of careful observation, in game mode, and also these dudes helping me set up, these dudes out here, I don't know where they are, they spawned a little while ago, and they have, yeah, there's some villagers over there, they have some pretty unique AI, actually, they'll fish and fight things on their own, they'll kind of just, like, wander around, but they won't wander too far from the village or anything like that, and also, um, I believe that when they catch fish, they'll actually come and put them in these chests over here, if I'm going to... Yeah, see, like, they'll they'll catch, like, marlins, they'll they'll catch fish, yeah, that's cool, it's, it's cool stuff. Um, I believe there's also a potential, there's a potential for shops to generate, but with the little village that I found, there isn't one, so maybe at the end of the video I'll try to find one. But if I don't, then I am very sorry. Now, may I start with saying that I'm Emil Van Kriken? 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 I'm sorry, I'm retarded. Um, actually did do a song for this, and I feel like it would be appropriate to play it. Just, like, you know, just just know that I own no rights to the song or anything. It's, it's all good, right? I can do that. As long as the song isn't copyrighted. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tools and weapons and fun stuff. Because, you know, I'm not gonna showcase the blocks anyway. I'm gonna turn that down a tad. It's a little much. I think I just turned it off by accident. God damn it. Come back here. Ah. Uh, you don't run away from me like that. That's just not okay. Yeah, alright. Also, excuse me if I'm a bit stuffy, sniffly, whatever. Um, I am sick. I stay up really late a lot, too, so that doesn't really help. So, yeah. Um, not exactly the best for my health or anything like that. And I apologize if my commentary is really nasally and a little bit more awkward than usual. So yeah, tools, weapons, fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stabs. I don't actually know what the taming staff does, but I know what the water wand does. Bamboo spear, you know, you can, it's just sort of like a sword, you can just hit things with it. What the water wand does is pretty cool, though. You can just kinda siphon all the water out of everywhere, and then it just sort of forms back. Taming staff, I think, oh. That's a weird particle effect, but I like it. I'm pretty sure you just use it to tame things, but it's probably not done yet. And that's supposedly... Oh, oh no, I made him angry. Oh no, oh god, no, run away. Run away. Hey, M Koa dude, can you help me? Can you help me really fast? Because this, there's like this thing after me. No, 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 get away. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these things that just scares the shit out of me. Oh my god. But like those chunk of head dudes, I swear to god are like the, mo are like the most terrifying things I've ever seen. So yeah. <laughs> fire staff sets things on fire. Taming staff tames things. Water one get ironically gets rid of water. Um, oh yeah, by the way, just to know that the basis of this mod, which will usually provide you with the crafting recipes and information on anything that you happen to find, is the, you know, this book right here that I just hap that I just so happen to be using as a coaster. The Encyclopedia Tropica. And, um... I think it's about time that I demonstrated the pickaxes before that guy learns how to make it around that house. Okay, he did. Alright, um... Okay, pickaxes. Zircon, Eulodite, they're not... They're, Zircon is better. Okay, so, like, Zircon is basically, like, this world's equivalent of, uh... I think it's Diamond. Or maybe that's Eulodite? That might be... No, Eudialite. I'm sorry. Eulodite. Eudialite. It's gonna take me a moment to learn how to say that. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll showcase that guy, like, in more in-depth in a moment. Um... By the way, this is going to be a relatively long mod review, so, you know, sit back, relax. Maybe you maybe you want to pause the video and grab a snack really fast if you're really keen on watching this. I, I mean, I'm not sure why you would, honestly. Oh, that's the, that's the wrong chest. There's a lot of mobs in this mod. Alright, so now to proper showcase these items, I'm going to go ahead and just recoaster my drink. Um, Alright, so to proper showcase these items, I also ought to go ahead and say that these are the ores right here. Udialite, Zircon, and Azerite, which I believe Azerite's one and only use. If I am not incorrect, so let me uh, use the Zircon pickaxe to demonstrate, see if that works. 
Okay, yeah, so it drops Azerite. So, like, just pure Azerite. This is used in the Water Wand recipe, the Tropics Portal Enchanter recipe, um, the other Tropics Portal Enchanter recipe, and its own block. So, really, it's it's not very useful. It's kind of like this world's Lapis Lazuli, only slightly more useful than Lapis. Um, I ought to go ahead and, and make use of that to, uh, to showcase these, these other things. Uh, I'll be sure... <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job at this, am I? Um, it takes a moment for things to mine in this place. Um, this is the Zircon Crystal, which is sort of the highest tier of tool, I think, in this, in this universe world place. I'm not actually sure where I am right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just dreaming this up, but hey, I can showcase my dreams, right? So yeah, you just use Zircon Crystals along with bamboo sticks, which are made from bamboo shoots, which are made into a bunch of other things, to, you know, make some nice, you know, pretty swag-looking tools. And you can also make blocks out of it. And you can smelt it into smelted zircon, which is used for the making of zirconium along with diamonds, which is used in the portal enchanter recipe, as well as a koa chest, which is used for spawning those dudes. And, you know, its own block as well. Alright, so that'll showcase that... That ore. I'm sorry that I'm getting so ahead of myself constantly. And it doesn't seem that you actually have to smelt anything in this dimension. It's pretty cool. Anyways, you use Udeolite shards to, you know, make all this stuff. You know, the tools, the blocks, cool, cool stuff like that. That about covers all the tools, except for the dagger, which is um, made with uh, some palm planks, which is made from some... I think it's that tree right up there, if you see that one. Right there. Yeah, you see it. And two chunk of heads, which are dropped by a mob that I actually slew earlier. The, um... I think they're just called chunk of heads, actually. And I just you, you you know you kill them and they drop chunks of their head. And okay, so now on to the armors, which are the scale boots and the fire boots. I'm not actually sure that the fire armor has a recipe, and I have no I have no idea where to get it. I just found it in the creative menu. Please, um, if my if my walkthrough or not walkthrough uh mod showcase is not in depth enough for you, and probably and you know you really want to find this armor for some reason, then you might want to consider looking on like a wiki or something because I am not a professional. I'm not sure there's a such thing as a professional mod reviewer. Maybe there is. I'm not actually sure. Tell me if that's a thing. I want to hear from people. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah, so you just... You, um, iguanas, you make scale armor out of uh, iguana scales, which are dropped by iguanas, naturally. No, 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 wait. They're dropped by chameleons. No, iguanas. Um, then we have the snare trap. I'll get to making these in just a second. The snare trap is actually kind of cool, where if a mob besides you walks over it... Uh, this is a terrible example, but um, if a mob besides you walks over that, then um, they will actually get stuck in place. Like, I think there's a skeleton, actually, that I trapped over there. He has no idea where to go. He's just like, help? <laughs> uh. Anyways, yeah. Um, I also noticed that if you break it, it makes a... Uh, well, uh, before it made like a note block noise, like I was plucking like a, a guitar string or something. Which I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, bamboo spears, obviously, so I would to do. Um, yeah, now on to the chair and umbrella, which are actually needed to get into this dimension, as I demonstrated earlier. Um, not mean to place that, give me that back. I hate you so much. Oh my god. Water wand, just for funsies. Even though it just all forms back anyway. It's just good for getting, like, a bubble of air, I assume. Oh, also recipe for snare trap is just, you know, sort of like a- it's sort of like a lead recipe, only replace that one bit of string, that one bit of, uh, one bit of slime ball right here with one with another just another string uh the recipe for the chair is the corresponding color of wool this, this one being light blue and you know six bamboo sticks along with the umbrella which is sort of the same concept it's just you know three of any color wool and two bamboo sticks which are made from bamboo shoots all right uh does that about cover this i think it does actually about cover this so i'm gonna go throw, i'm gonna go ahead and throw some other things in here i'm gonna go ahead and keep the signs uh, just, uh, I like waffles. There we go. That was necessary. Um, alright, so let's see here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the darts. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not sure how specifically to make these, but there's, um, there's these things that you can make called curares, which you use to make both the blowguns that are for the specific thing and the darts. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate how to just like, you know, just, I'm, I'm kind of bullshitting this to be honest. So, this is not prop, this is not really the proper way to do it, but, uh, you just kind of have to throw like flowers and like herbs and stuff that you find around. That, that's my mug from earlier. Yeah, but like you have to throw things that you just like, you know, like plants that you just kind of find around, and you have to mix them around by right clicking on it a whole bunch of times with this, with, it, with a stick. You just sort of mix it around until it becomes like a, like a paste. And I made a cure air of hunger with that. Which you would then use in a dart in this in this specific recipe: one iron ingot, one of any cure air, and one feather, to make four darts of that specific thing. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and so showcase this, and I'm sorry for my really nasty inhaling. Uh, I, I feel bad about it. Yeah, gonna go ahead and show this stuff off now with those uh, those head guys over there, I guess. Uh, actually, that probably wouldn't work on them, would it? Um, Tell you what, I'll wait. I'll wait a second um, until we're actually spawning them up. In fact, I'll, I think I'll just go into creative from now on because <sighs> I'm I'm not really well equipped to uh, to deal with these guys. Okay, first we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use the um, these nice these nice fishies. So in this mod, there is actually several. Like you can just get like a bucket of tropical water and a fishing net. Um, I might have forgotten to put the recipe. I don't remember. I apologize. It's kind of one in the morning right now. Um, yeah. So this is a well, now it's a bucket of tropics water. I forget what you're called. Come back. You're a tropical fish. Um, alright, so let me go ahead and just, just shoot a dart in here. Okay, that's not working. You're too small. You're adorable, though. That's a tropical fish. This is a clownfish. Yay. Clownfish. He's a clownfish. And then we have the Royal Gamma. Which I believe is one of those fi is one of the fish that was in the tank from finding from finding Nemo. Uh, we got the yellow tang, which for some reason reminds me of a really dirty thing to call a certain body part. Um, but hey, that's a fish's name, so that's not the kind of thing that we that we say here. Um, yeah, he's I think mean, he's also a fish from finding Nemo. Uh, what was that guy? I completely forgot to say his name again. Where did he go? He like disappear. Oh wait, is that him? Is that him right there? I think that might have been the angelfish. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we have the regal tang and the beta fish. Beta fish like to kill everyone in real life, because beta fish hate everything. Beta fish are jerks. They just they just do whatever they want. They kill people. I forget what either of these were. Then we have the geophagus surinaminis surinaminsis ramen. Looks, the name looks like ramen. Give me you. Eh. Eh. Whatever. Alright. Now on to some other mobs. I have a bunch of buckets of tropics water now. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour it in this guy's house. Here you go, man. Gonna have some tropics water. You, I know how much you love the water here. You, you're practically fishing it anyway. In fact, you do, you do fish in it. Perhaps it's not proper to use that as a coaster. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the iguanas and uh, starfish. Starfish are just these little things. I think they're gonna. I think this guy's gonna drown in midair, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a dart in him. This is weakness. I am terrible at this. Did that even hit him? You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and push you in the water. There you go. Be free, starfish. Be free. All right. So now we got an iguana. These guys are dicks. See, they just run away from you, and whenever you don't want them to see you. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put darts in all these guys. So yeah, as you can see, weakness. These guys are caused weakness. What is this one? Hunger. I'm totally not aiming for the Koa guy right now. He's really hungry now. Clearly. <sighs> Excuse me, really gross. Then we have confusion, which I'm going to assume causes nausea. Nausea, heartburn, upset stomach, indigestion, area. All right. Yep. Nausea. Also, it's just to be noted those those uh, Koa guys actually have unique names, I believe, and they also have um they also throw leaf balls, which are pretty cool. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. This is the harm one, so I think it's it actually heals the skellies. Come on. Stop dodging. Oh my god. Just get over here. Mm. 
You are such a jerk. Look at that guy. He's just like, he's like, huh, I can dodge all your shit. And I'm just like, man, you, you're such a jerk. Yeah, now you're slow. How do you feel about that? Look at him, like, swerving me like that. That is some adept serpentine right there. Yeah, okay, now we have poison. Good old classic poison. It poisons things. Yeah. Most of these are actually self-explanatory, and I probably could have gone without, um, actually. You know, I really wish that, that somebody could, like, emulate the paralysis effect from Skyrim in Minecraft. That'd be awesome, because paralysis in Skyrim is hilarious. It seems that these blowgun darts are terribly inaccurate. They just seem to bounce off of everything. Or something like that. And why do I have infinite darts of paralysis? You know what? I won't even question it. Okay, so is that about everything? Yeah, there's also some frog legs and stuff you can eat. Okay, let's see here. No, that's not everything. I'm retarded. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the rest of these. Alright, now starting with the turtle. It's, a, it's actually the turtle egg. Huh. I feel like I should bury this in the sand. Anyways, yeah, that's the turtle egg. It hatches a turtle, I guess. Um, Ash and Ash spawns these little... Ugh, these, these things. They're like little tribal dudes. And they just kind of like, they attack the Koa villages at night. When you hit them, their masks fly off in like ridiculous directions. Ridiculously far away, and you can actually pick them up, I think. But since I'm in creative, I just destroyed it. Alright, then, we, you know, this is the ninja spawns random tropical fish that I believe I just spawned inside of the land and are now suffocating. Okay, now we have a marlin. Rest in peace. Anyways, uh, we have the Eye of Head, which actually um, will spawn the Chunk of Head, which I will actually need a pickaxe to slay because they're immune to sword damage. As you can see, right now, this guy just kind of looks like a, you know, an Easter Island head. You know, you might want to, like, break him, put him in your house, put him in front of your house, maybe two next to the doorway. Be really nice and aesthetic with some tiki torches. But as you can see, he's speaking in satanic tongues, and uh, when you hit him, he's just like the most fucking scary thing I think I've ever seen. And I've, I, I've seen some pretty scary things, trust me. I've, I've been to, like, the nightmare fuel section of the internet and everything. But, I mean, this guy just for some reason scares the crap out of me. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact that he speaks in satanic tongues. Maybe it's just like those big old red eyes of his. I don't know. Just, I don't know. He's just strangely terrifying. Then we have the frogs. Blue frog, yellow frog, red, red frog, green frog. They're all frogs. Some of them poison you. Some of them are hostile. They live in jungles. The end. Yeah, alright. Um got the sea urchin, fail gull, spotted sea spotted eagle ray, the koa headband, tropic skelly skirt, the tropic creeper egg, and the man of war. Man of wars are just kinda like giant badass like uh tropical jellyfish. With a fin. They drop slime balls. Tropic creepers? They're just tropical creepers. I don't think they actually explode. Let me test this. Yeah, they just they just turn into some coconut mobs, which I think I didn't showcase for a reason. I'll I'll put that at the end of the showcase. Shut up. Go get your mask now. Look what you did. Anyway, Tropiskelly skirt spawns these freaking tropical scourge of the earth that don't deserve to live. Then we have the koas, koa headband, which spawns a bunch of koa dudes, which I will then sick on the Tropiskellies. And create an epic war of awesome. And as you can see, all hell is just suddenly broken loose, and I've created an, I've created a baby boom. Yep. Next we have the monkey's paw, which is actually not a very bad story at all. And um, it spawns monkeys, which I think will actually take your alcoholic beverages and drink them in front of you like a uh, like a college student. They just kind of take your alcohol and leave. Then there's the Spotted Eagle Ray, which I will admit it has some very fluent motions. I really like it. It's really nice looking. He appears to be struggling to move. Next we have the Fail Gull, which I'm not really sure where they get their name from. Oh. I guess that makes sense. The way, like, do you see the way their wings move? Yeah, no, I consider that arousing, I consider that arousing success myself. Oh, they travel in groups! That's cool! Goodbye, friends! You're awesome! 
sea urchin. They don't do a lot. They're just there. They hurt. Excuse me, sir. I need you to stay in the middle of these. Yeah, so going near them just hurts. That's about it. So I'm going to assume that's that's probably about it for this mod showcase, really. Now that now all these dudes are just fishing and bringing in a lot more income. Too bad that their main storehouse just got flooded recently by some unknown force. Um, if I missed anything, it's probably on a wiki, it's probably like on a wiki somewhere that I will most likely put down in the description when I post this. Not sure if I'll do that tonight though. Because I am rather tired. Like, quite tired. So yeah, if you enjoyed the um, mod showcase, be sure to leave like a comment, perhaps even like the video if you, if you know you enjoyed it. Um, subscriptions are, once again, appreciated. I am actually using, also it is noted that this place doesn't usually look this, um, this grassy. It's just the fact that I use um, the Better Grass and Leaves mod. So, like, when you install the mod, your leaves probably won't look, look quite like this. But, um, also there is the weather mod, which allows you to spawn some nice tornadoes. If you'd like to see one, well, if you'd like to see one while I out, while I out, oh, there you go. Just, I accidentally spawned two. Look at them all go. Beautiful. Freaking gorgeous. <coughs> Ugh, where was I? Um, yeah, tornado. So anyway, like, subscribe, favorite, you know, share, enjoy other videos, all the other cool stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna head back and say hi to Ricky before my portal is destroyed. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure this cold's actually been getting around. So hopefully, no so hopefully nobody else out there really has to deal with this because like it's it's killing my throat like really bad. Um. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you for watching. If you managed to sit through all of it, once again, huge kudos, as I say, for all of my videos, or all of our videos, but, uh, yeah, well, anyway, peace out, guys.